always had the attitude, if I go somewhere and my wife and family aren't welcome, then I'm not welcome. And if somebody tells me that I am to shun my wife and children, they can kiss my ass. And I don't care. I don't care if it's a... I don't care if it's a church or the government or a school or whoever it is, because I don't believe what label or brand you put on a religion. No God that I know, which is a loving God, is going to ask me as a man to turn my back on my wife and my children. And that's got nothing to do. That's got nothing to do with religion. That's got to do with being a man. And I'm just asking you as a man, as a, as a man, is there a point at which, because I've often said, I love the Lord. It's Christians I can't stand. Um, they, you know, some of them can be really obnoxious. I mean, you know, come on. Don't you have some people in your faith that just like, oh, come on, shut up. Because uh, I certainly do in mine. I'm just saying, forget about who they are. These are... These are men. These are human beings. These are people that walk the earth, flesh and blood. This isn't God telling you to do this. This is somebody that's interpreting God. That's telling you, that's telling you to fail the test. Because you, this is a test. Are, are you going to man up and stand by your wife and children? Or are you going to let some guy that was born in Cleveland come tell you that you're supposed to turn your back on your wife and children? And you're going to say, oh, okay, somebody told me that. And then you just follow along and say, well, what do you want me to do now? Uh, I, I, I really have a problem with the common sense aspect of that. 